I'm no more worried about that being owed 260 grand because it, essentially the numbers are irrelevant. It's the processes that you put in place to, to deal with it. And, and we know that we're always going to be owed a good quarter of a million quid because of just how, how our payment systems work. I said, it, it's no less impactful really, because if I get paid one bill, I get 40 grand in the bank. If you get paid one bill, you get 400 quid. So it's, it's not, I said, it, it doesn't, they're no less or more stressful than each other. They're just the same things with, with bigger numbers involved. And yeah, it's, it's just strange, isn't it? Because it, it is just numbers. You know, sometimes I look at the bank uh, and or uh, every now and then I've said to Jackie, oh, bloody hell, look how much we've got in the bank. You know, especially when it goes over the 100 grand, I get quite proud of that. And she's like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm like, yeah, but that's not, that means nothing because that's all going to go and then this is going to happen. And it's, it's a bit like drop shipping, isn't it? It's, it, you're dealing with big quantities of stuff, but you're not actually having it in your possession. Yep, exactly. And very quickly, I just need a quick wee, so I'm going to pause this and come back. I might even make a coffee. Go on, you make, I'll make a coffee as well then. Do it. And Pat, I think it's too difficult, this bloody um, payment function. I don't know what we're going to do with that. Cause, um... well, I, was, I was going to say, given that we know what we need to do, let me have a look at it because it, it's not difficult to put pages on our website. Um I will, I'll have a look and see if I can just add it. And if it's a simple thing, as long as it looks slick, as long as they can put in a reference number, vehicle registration, whatever, whatever details it is on the form, um, then I'm sure I can do it. I do all I need to know. Have you got a picture of the, the forms that we're going to be using? No, I need to, um, I need to design them. I need to go down fast signs and get them designed actually. Um, is it is it not something where there's like a standardised thing or not? No, I, I've I've been I've been looking for customised ones and stuff like that, um, and they're quite, quite difficult to find. And um, I remember last time we ended up going to a, a guy that refurbished the council printers, and he had some software. We 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 actually managed to design it ourselves and just right. print them out with no human input. But we just want like a stop and search form size where we can just reach. yeah. yeah. It's something simple like that, but um, I think the, the reference number would be the um, obviously the number on the pad that would go all the way through. Um, but it doesn't need what Pat's getting at is 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 almost matching the reference number up to the ticket on the day. Yeah, yeah. almost like it does with the the proper like the Wandsworth Council ones. Given that given how shit we've been saying they are, um, their parking fine system is brilliant. But yeah. you put in your reference number and it brings up pictures of your car, date, and all this stuff, stuff. And oh, well, bang to rights, then I can't argue that. <laughs> no, and this is it. We're not, we're not even interested in that. The fact yeah. is, is that it's not, you know, accounting wise, it, it's not a problem. You get, you got a PCM, we've got a reference number, they pay it, that's it. If it's, if it, if the reference number's completely wrong and Mrs. Miggins, you know, ha still hasn't paid the 60 quid, we're not going to be harassing Mrs. Miggins for 60 quid. And having to go cross reference everything and go, oh, she has paid. She's just put the wrong number in. Yeah. It's just who pays pays is a luxury. If they don't pay, well, then they don't pay. It's not the end of the world, is it? No, no, it's fine. Um, so on the subject of Sam, the next mm. point on the list, license checks. Yeah. Aside from him, is everyone good? Yeah, it's, yeah. Apart from potentially the new, the newer ones that have gone on any time in the last two weeks. Um, I am, in fact, it flashed up on my to-do list today is to do a, a rotor cloud one where I download rotor cloud against the watch list and make sure everyone on there is hundred percent licensed. Um, but following Sam, I did kick a few people up the arse about their licenses. Yeah. Um, Guillermo's was, was close to being out of date, but he's already updated. It just didn't tell us, which is fine. Anuj is due February, but again, he's already doing his, um, top up training. In fact, he did it last week. So it's, it's funny, just... isn't it? That some of them are actually quite on it and capable of dealing with things for themselves. So Anuj, I would, I'm actually surprised that he has done that because the number of question that questions that guy asks me, where I think just just Google it, a bit like you did with um, uh, Travelodge site yesterday. He was supposed to go for that. Well, I've, I've given you the address. I've, I've told you. Having yeah. said that, I did I, I did almost react, and then I thought, well, actually, if you Google Travelodge Croydon, there's two Travelodges in Croydon, so 
Well, this is Crystal Palace, so there's only. I one know, there. but they just don't know, do they? You don't know. Yeah, no, I, no, I, and to be fair, I didn't do that to be funny. I literally googled it myself to get the address and just copied and pasted it across. Yeah, and that's how it came across. Yeah, but yeah, no, I, I, I think the the thing is, is as we know, the SIA send you a reminder. We both got a reminder about doing the top up training. Um, I, I think you know it is a minefield, and it is it gets complicated because there's obviously the ACS side of things, then there's the individual licensing side of things and there's that crossover and it, and, and it does get confusing. And I've got no doubt for, for Bog Sam that it has got confusing. I do feel for the guy, but at the same time, oh, we can't, no, we can't. And, and, and you've got to draw a line <clears> and it does the competence of, of a, of an, of somebody. If they can't maintain their, their license, it's like having a fucking delivery driver, get his license taken away and not telling anyone yeah and kind of not being able to manage that well that's a fundamental part of your job you know that's the basics the sam situation i, I was is there anything we could have done to prevent it getting to the point where it's literally the day before it's run out and that's the first time we're realizing so obviously you know you said you kicked the other guys up the arse presumably you don't normally do that and it's only because of sam no and with sam he was on the radar and i know then you I knew you were paying for his license. So in my mind, it was all, it was all done and dusted it. And I was just waiting for a new license number. I probably should have been a bit quicker at actually getting that license number onto our system and going, right, where's the license number? Yeah. Uh, but it's kind of like, you know, like when you sort of think, right, that's done now. So I, in my mind, it was getting sorted and it was getting sorted. There's, you know, if, if he didn't need to top up training. Yeah, it would be done, done, wouldn't it? Yeah. Even now he's got, you know, even now with the non front line license to change that over to a front line license and get to the progress stage, it wouldn't be an issue. We'd be able to give an LDN. Um, I think the, I think the, our knowledge base around licensing is, it, it can be an issue because I'm, I'm not an expert on it. I, you know, we, we're not. Be. That's why, that's why I'm the responsibility and accountability thing. It's yours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know, I know you need a license and I know when I can, you know, as a business, I know when we can give out an LDN, that's not a problem. But this whole top up training took me by surprise. I didn't know I needed top up training until I got the email and then yeah. meant to message you. Yeah. So how would we expect to know that the staff need top up training? Yeah. You know, um, and yeah. I don't know whether it's, I don't know, but maybe because we don't rely on our license as much as the staff do, you know, we, we you know, I, it's not, you know, we're not getting checked by other people for our own licenses. Yeah. Um, it's not like a warrant club, is it, where we need it every, every time. Yeah, when I go to work, I go to out there and I work. I don't, so yeah, granted, you and I have licenses and we need licenses to, to run the business, but our job isn't actually security. I say this to people all the time, like I run a security company. Oh, is that any other? I'm like, yeah, but I don't really do security. I know how things work. I run a business yeah. and you could almost lift what you and I do and put it in most other businesses. And the, the principles would be the same because it's management of business processes and, and money and, and logistics. Yeah. I was saying that to my uncle the other day. <laughs> I said, I don't really run a security company. I run a logistics company with people and money. Yeah. Well, that's it. And the only time we ever actually need our badges on, I think is, is when we, um, Welcome when we go to, and, and even tomorrow when we go and see the car park, yeah. because our staff aren't on site and we're not actually giving them directions, we don't need a license for that. Yeah. And it, you know, um, and even, you know, and there's ways of getting around it because we're not stupid either, which is, which is why we can get around it with Sam if we can bosh him down to a, to a car parking steward for a couple of weeks while he sorts it out. But I don't know, mate. I, it's, I would like to, it would cost a fortune, and I'm not suggesting that we do it, but it's almost like if you had one person whose sole job was SIA licensing um, from all elements, make, you know, making sure the staff are doing the right training, the first aid training, you know, almost like what we should be doing for the um, QS, uh, the quality management stuff, where we've got a training matrix, right? That's on the training matrix. Mm. First aid, you know, it should all be on our processes should cover this, but because it's just you and me. There's no way in, in, in cats in, in, that we would be able to track the. Is there not a, so when you, cause you do the watches every week, right? Or every fortnight. Um, so I do the watch list every week, but I do the download. So visual, um, cast over, if you like, every week to make sure no one's had it revoked. 
um, and then I do the um, the proper in-depth check where I check the rotor cloud 